Hey everyone, happy Wednesday and welcome to our geography lesson for week two. So today we're going to learn to identify the main countries in the United Kingdom. And again, we're working towards that big question of where do I live? So last week you can maybe tell me one or two answers about where you live, but by the end of this unit, hopefully we'll be able to talk um, lots and lots about where we live and give lots of information about where we live. So steps to success today, I can talk about where I live. I can find where I live on a map. I can name the four countries in the UK and identify their capital cities. And I can answer some questions about where I live. So having a look at our just checking, we've got, got my thing blocking it. So let me just move this. Learning how to be a Zoom wizard, but not quite yet. All right, so from last week, true or false? England is in the continent of Africa. England is in the continent of Africa. True or false? Pause the video and have a go. And if you answered false, you are correct. England is in the continent of Europe. Well done. Good memory. Last unit. So true or false? Remember last unit we talked all about the farm, so these questions are always going to be about the farm. True or false? All farms do the same things. So all farms do the same things. They're for the same purpose. What do you think? True or false? If you guessed false, well done. We talked about lots of different farms last term. We talked about dairy farms and livestock farms and farms that are for um, growing things. So there's all kinds of different farms that you can go and see. And last term, what is the name of a farm that produces milk? What is the name of a farm that produces milk and cheese and things like that? Is it A, a livestock farm, or B, a dairy farm? So pause the video and share your answer. And that's right, B, a dairy farm is a farm that produces milk. Bonus question, what animals would you probably find on a dairy farm, or should you find on a dairy farm? If you guess cows, well done. Fantastic. So looking at some of our keywords that we're going to need to use today, our key vocabulary, we have the United Kingdom. And in the United Kingdom, we have four countries, we said. So we have England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. And the word country is a word that we're using this week as well. So looking from the countries, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, we also have some capital cities, London, Edinburgh, Cardiff, and Belfast. So our big question, where do you live? How many answers can you give to that question? And this is getting us to really think, think, think about what we were learning last week because lots of the answers to these little questions are going to be from what we did last week. So I'm gonna ask the questions and I'm gonna put up my hand, please pause the video and have a go at answering them either out loud or on paper. Which planet do we live on? Which continent do we live in? And which country do we live in? Pause the video and have a go. So which planet do we live on? We said that was planet Earth last week. Remember it's the blue and green planet, blue for water, green for land. Which continent do we live in? We answered it in our just checking. We live in Europe. And which country do we live in? We are in England. Right, so we live in the United Kingdom, which is a group of countries in the continent of Europe. And if we look over here, we've got the red group is Europe. And we talked about it last week, but the United Kingdom is that lovely island. So we're a tiny island with four different countries. Do you know how many countries are in the United Kingdom altogether? Yes, we do. We just talked about it. How many? Show me your fingers. Four. And do you know what those countries are called? Let's see if we can remember. Well, we're in England. Then we have Scotland, uh, Ireland, Northern Ireland, has to be Northern Ireland, and w w Wales. If you were able to have a guess, well done. The four countries that make up the United Kingdom are England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Each of the countries of the UK has their own capital city. A capital city is the most important city in the country, as it's where the government runs the country from. So that's where we would find our capital 
capital cities are the most important or the most special cities because that's where the government makes all of their decisions from. So if we look on the map, we can see that how are they representing the capital cities? You can see there's something really special. That's right, it's a star. And on the map, cities usually have a little dot and then their name, but a capital city, because it's so special, it will have a star. So let's look up here. We've got Scotland and its capital city is Edinburgh. And then we have England, whose capital city is London. And then we have Wales, who has Cardiff, and Northern Ireland, which has Belfast. So have a go at pausing the video and see if you can read those names. Some of them are quite tricky with their letters and spellings, but you can always copy me. The overall capital city of the United Kingdom, so of all four countries, is London. And this is where the government runs the whole of the UK. This picture on the screen is the Houses of Parliament, where the members of Parliament meet and decide how the country should be run. So maybe you've noticed that your parents or the people in your, the adults in your house might be watching some announcements with our Prime Minister on the television. Um, and he's usually in a fancy room and he's standing at a podium. And this is the building where all of those members of Parliament will be meeting to make decisions about what we need to do for our country right now and what we need to do for our schools. So you can say, next time you see them on the screen, you can say, oh, I know the building that they're speaking from. This is London, the capital city of England. What can you see in the picture? So pause the video, zoom in if you need to. What can you see in the picture? Do you recognize the Houses of Parliament? Or Big Ben, which is the big clock. And I know some of you will recognize Big Ben because we've talked about it before. And the London Eye. The London Eye is a really special, fun thing to do when you're in London. And of course, we can see the bridge and we can see the river and lots of big buildings in the background as well. This is Edinburgh, the capital city of Scotland. What can you see in Edinburgh? And again, we can see some really big old buildings. It looks like maybe we have a church or something really tall with a tall steeple. Lots of big buildings. Lovely. And this is Cardiff, the capital city of Wales. What can you see in the picture? So pause the video so you can have a little look and talk to an adult or your learning partner. Remember, you can have a stuffed toy nearby to be your learning partner if you don't have another person at home that you can share it with. So we have some interesting things in Wales. And we notice that Wales is a city that also has water with it, just like London. And you can see, I think in the background, I looked this up last year, and this was the Opera House, I think. So there's lots of, um, I think it's the Opera House, or maybe a production, a place where you can put on shows or plays. Um, so lots of really interesting things in Cardiff. This is Belfast, the capital city of Northern Ireland. What can you see in Belfast? Pause the video, have a little look. So I've noticed that Belfast is the first city where I can really see lots of green. So I see what looks like a park or a school or something up here. These buildings don't look like office buildings, they look more like houses. And there might be some office buildings and flats down here. And in the background, I see that there's lots of rolling hills and lots of more, more green. So I can tell that Northern Ireland is quite a green um, country because Belfast is its capital, which would be quite a busy city, and it still has lots of green in it. All right, so can you match the capital cities to their countries? So let's have a little go at this together. So we're going to start with Cardiff. So where do we say Cardiff was the capital city of? Is it England, Northern Ireland, Wales, or Scotland? And pause the video and have a go. Good memory, it's Wales. And that was the one that had the big glass. Um, we don't know if it's an opera center, or if it's a, I'll have to look that up for next week, if it's an opera center or a production hall. Edinburgh, Edinburgh is in Scotland. Belfast, so we have two choices left. Is it England or Northern Ireland and you choose? Northern Ireland and finally London is the big one for us because we're in England and it's the capital of England and also of the UK we just read. 
All right, we're going to play a little matching game as well now before you get started on your independent activities. So we have the four countries, England, Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland. And we're going to play a little game to match them with their capital cities. So I'm going to choose a city, Edinburgh. Can you pause the video and say where you think it belongs? Is it England, Wales, Northern Ireland or Scotland? If you guess Scotland, well done. London, that's when we all should know. That's right, London, it belongs with England, Wales, Cardiff, and Belfast, Northern Ireland. Well done. Now, just as a little extra, we might, we haven't seen these in our lesson today, but they're flags that we must see pretty frequently, I think, around our country. So we'll see if you can recognize which flag belongs with which country. Do you recognize the flag for England? Can you point to the screen at which flag you think it's going to be? I'll give you a clue. Its colors are red and white, so you still have a choice. That's right. If you guess St. George's Cross, well done. That is the flag of England. Wales. Now, Wales has lots of stories about a dragon, so that's your clue. If you guess the flag that has the red dragon on it, well done. Scotland. Mm, anybody seen the flag of Scotland? I just learned, I'm kind of embarrassed to tell you this, but I grew up in Canada and I just learned the flag of Scotland when I moved here. So I've only known this flag for five years. But I should have been able to guess because in Canada, there is a province called Nova Scotia and Nova Scotia's name means New Scotland and their flag has blue on it. So there's your clue. So New Scotland in Canada has a blue flag. Can you guess which flag goes with Scotland? That's right, if you guess the flag with blue, well done. That's the St. Andrew's Cross. And finally, that leaves us with the St. Patrick's Cross and that is the flag of Northern Ireland. So if you want to pause the video, have a little go, see if you can draw the flags. Maybe you can create some flags of your own if you're looking for something creative to do this afternoon. You could create each of the flags for the four countries of the UK. And now I have your last independent task that you're going to do. And there are four questions that I want you to answer. So you can pause the video so you can write down your responses. And this is what I'd like you to take a picture of and send it in. But if you can make some flags and send pictures of those in too, that would be even better. So number one, where are we on this map? Where are we on the map? And you don't have to know exactly where we are, but can you tell us which country we live in? All right, the next question you're going to answer is what is our capital city? So you can find this answer on the map as well. If you know which country we live in, we know that capital cities are represented by what symbol? That's right, stars. So you can find the capital city. And is the capital city of our country the nearest capital city to us on a map? So when we look at where we are, are we, you might need an adult's help with this one. Do we live in, so for example, if we lived in the north of England, we might say, oh, Edinburgh is the closest capital city to us because even though we're in England, we'd actually be up here. Let's see if you can see what I draw. If we lived up here, then we'd say, well, Edinburgh is really close. So that capital city is closest to us or Belfast. Or if we were way down here, we might say Wales. We do live in the southwest of England so we're kind of in this area over here. So the question is, is the capital city of our country the nearest capital city to us on a map? So we live inside that purple circle I just drew and that should be able to help you to find your answer to that question. So really well done year one, if you can answer those questions. And if you want to go for the next challenge, I have even more questions for you and I can read them to you or you can pause the screen. So number one, what are the four countries in the United Kingdom? Can you write them down? Number one. Remember, if you don't remember, you can always go back in the slides. You can go back in the video and see if you can find their names again. Number two, 
which country's flag has a red dragon? Which country's flag has a red dragon on it? Number three, which country do you live in? Now we all live in the same country because we're all at the same school, but what is our country called? And number four, what is your capital city called? You've got two choices, is it London or Edinburgh? What is your capital city called? Lovely, so write down your answers, pause the screen so that you can read the questions and go back to find them if you need them. And I can't wait to see your work, please send it in. And I will see you next week where we learn more about where we live. Have a really good afternoon, everyone. Remember, if you get bored at home and you wanna do something creative, why not make some flags? Why not make some flags for the countries in the United Kingdom? Maybe you can come up with it. Maybe you can name each room in your house. You could put a different flag in that and you could call it by that country name. So I, I think the ki my kitchen's got a bit of blue in it. So I might call that one Scotland. So if you're looking for something fun to do that ties with your learning, make some flags, put them around your house. See if you can get your family to guess which countries they come from. And we'll see you next time.